And well, after I publish the app, or well, I build the app. Also, this is the result. We have here the screen one, we are in the screen one, and we have the message, welcome, this is screen number one. And then if we click on this button, that is go to screen number two. It will change to screen number two and change the message. Okay, now if I change to screen number three, it will change to screen number three. Hello, my name is Eduardo and today I am here with a new tutorial for App Inventor or Thunkable or Makeroid or Appy Builder. Okay, well, this is a very basic tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to try to make some tutorials that are not very long. Okay, so I will try to make them shorter. I will be using Makeroid. Okay, Makeroid is another server. Okay, based on App Inventor, you can use, uh, you can follow this tutorial with App Inventor or uh, Thunkable or App Builder, as I told you. Okay, so no problem. It is just another version with different options. Okay, it has some extra features. Okay, so I guess it's really cool. Okay, so what? Well, Today we are going to work with something very simple, that it's the multiple screens, okay? So this is a short tutorial about how to work with multiple screens, okay? Well, basically what is that, okay? So what's when you have more than one screen? For example, you can have the welcome screen, then you have the second screen, that it's the main screen, okay? With the app or the game or whatever. And in the last screen, probably you have like something just to uh, to tell at the end when people have uh, have finished your using your app okay so what the first thing that you need to do is to create screens okay so here in makeroid you just go to the left side and you have screen one that is this screen and then you have add screen you just create add screen you can rename it okay and you can add like for example main app or screen two okay so let's keep it just like screen two okay as usual then when you click in that you get in the screen two now we are in screen number two okay it looks similar because we don't have anything and we're going to create another screen screen number three now you have three different screens you can navigate through your windows when you are designing your app here with this button screen one screen two or screen three how to communicate Okay, I just created in the screens, okay, in all the screens, this kind of layout, very simple layout. One label with this message, label one, this is the screen number and it will display the number of the screen. Well, right now it is not live, uh, I'm not using it, okay, I, I will show you how. Then you have three buttons, one it's going to take you to the next screen or to the other one okay so in this case we are in screen one we go to screen number two we go to the screen number three and one button to close the app okay so then if we go to screen number two we have go to screen one and go to screen three two buttons and the close up and the same label and finally in the last one we have again the label go to screen one because we are in the number three or go to screen number two and close the app okay so i just center everything okay in the all these screens uh, you have to uh, arrange everything okay so uh, and that's it and then we are going to create the procedure the procedure is pretty simple okay. procedures are a set of instructions that you can call uh, in, in in special events okay for example when you click uh, a button it's an event and you need to call a procedure for example in this case i created this procedure to change screens so you have change screens, this is the procedure, and we are going to add this condition in control, if, if it's true, okay, that we are going to uh, do this procedure, we are going to open another screen, we are going to use this block that is here in control, and we're going to use, because we are using the same names, uh, almost the same names, okay, so we have screen one, screen two, and screen three, we see that in all of them we share the same screen 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 and a different number so i use this join from text it's going to join the screen and we are going to create like a variable or value that it's number and that it will change depending on the button okay so this is the procedure now the procedure by itself it's doing anything it's like a function okay so uh you have to call it so we're going to go to button number one and if you remember button number one it will take us to screen number two so you just add this procedure 
okay here procedures and then you're going to use here and then you just have a slot that it's for the number so you can use text or you can use math and it will take us to screen number two so we just try the number two okay and it will change okay to the other one so now you have to do the same with the uh, button number two that it's the one that it will take us to screen number three so if we do it we just can duplicate duplicate we just change here from the drop menu drop down menu and then you just change the number to three and that's it that's the way you change and you have to do the same in the other screens now you just drag it to your backpack and then for example this button it will be like almost the same you just drag it to your backpack okay and then you just change to the screen number two and then you just open your backpack and you have your procedure well i have this because i did it before but you just use your original procedure you call it here and then because you are using the same buttons you have button one button two you can just drag them okay open your backpack and drag this button and now the button one it will take us to screen number one so you just change the number screen number one now the button number two we duplicate if we are in screen number two it will take us to screen number three and then we just change this to button two and finally we have the button uh, that it's going to close the app with button number three i will do it here button three and we're going to close the app this is the one that is missing okay so we need a uh, function to close the app so we have here in this in control we have this that it's close application and it's okay if we just drag it like that but my recommendation is to create a procedure for that so let's call it close app procedure and we just drag this guy in here why well i will explain you why just really fast okay so procedure close up and that's it it looks like the same yes but what if you want to add more things before we close the app okay for example save a value or display an ad so for example you can drag any procedure over here okay so that it's the idea to have a procedure okay so and then you have your procedure okay you can just drag it here and you just go to screen number two we just go for a close up procedure and then you just drag your button three and that's it and you do the same in the number three that i did it before okay and that's it now just to finish what about the text the text we have in all the screens a text that it's going to tell us in which screen are we okay so we can make this okay so we are going to share this value and with a very simple way we're going to use here in control you have open another screen with star value screen name star value and we can pass a value with this okay or you can use something here that you go to storage that is uh, the basic one it is tiny db that it's a database okay so you have some information over there and we are going to use this probably okay so to send the information so probably we can use it in here and then you have tiny db we are in screen number one okay so now we need to create the procedure to pass this value okay or to display the current screen so let's do it oh. to do that as i told you we have the tiny db component okay so basically the idea is this this thing it will help us to share the values okay so i will save the name of the current screen here and then i will join it with one piece of text so let's go to the blocks to show you what it looks uh, this procedure so here we create a procedure called screen message and then i created a value that it's called screen name it will run this procedure the first thing that i want to do it's first call the tiny db you go to tiny db and you are going to save a value what which is the value that we are going to serve we are going to create here a tag once you create a tag okay you can call this tag in any page in any screen so i create a tag and i just name it screen message so i create a tag and then i 
save a value in this tag that it will be the screen name so depending on the screen okay we will change this now then in this procedure the final part when you create the tag then you save the value of the tag then you just uh, refresh your label one okay so remember the label one is this one and the label it will join this message welcome comma this is a screen number and then we are going to call here from tinydb call we are going to get the value that we just saved okay we are going we are calling this value to use it the tag which is the tag okay in the database well is this tag and which is the value okay so the value it is in here in this tag every tag has a value so uh, we use this only if we don't have this tag but we just created the tag then this is a procedure if we just do it like that or leave it like that it will uh, it won't do anything or it won't make anything so we need to use the screen initialize when the screen initializes we are going to call this procedure the only value that we need to add is the number of the screen but you have to add a space okay so don't forget to add space if we have the space in here no problem so you have one space and that's it so in this case i can remove this space and that's it so now we are going to see this thing and just let me show you if i can show you but well let's go to screen number two ah but before we go to screen number two we need to copy this procedure to uh, the backpack in the screen number two you just drag your procedure okay that is a screen message you call it in here you have a hey, there's no tiny db well the value it is in there but tiny db needs to be called in all the screens okay so in this case you have to go again okay to your uh, storage and you need to drag it and again you just drag a tiny db that's it okay it is necessary to do that in all the screens okay so you go here to storage and then you just go to tiny db then we return to screen number two and we go to the blocks and then you just have that the error disappears and now in this screen that is screen number two we go for initialize we call the procedure screen message and we just change the number uh, the name to uh, text two and we use capital letters two that's it then we do the same in screen number three remember that we have the tiny db already there and then we just use this event initialize and we drag the screen message and this is a screen number three so we just use the name three three oh we capital letters what about that three that's it okay and that's the way that we finish this app okay so now we need to try it and well after i publish the app oh well i build the app Oh, so this is the result we have here the screen one we are in the screen one and we have the message welcome this is screen number one and then if we click on this button that is go to screen number two it will change to screen number two and change the message okay now if i change to screen number three it will change to screen number three okay and then you can return to the other screen screen one go from screen one to screen number three and it displays this number so basically this is the idea when you want to work with different screens okay and you can share values okay using tinydb i guess this is the best way okay to share values for example i am sharing this value okay or i want to pass one value from this screen to the other screen using the tinydb okay you just create the tag so well i guess that's all for this very short tutorial well uh, well I tried to make it short but it was not like very possible okay so don't forget to uh, like this video and to share it with your friends someone who's learning app invento okay my name is Eduardo I will see you next time bye bye